welcome, this is my 2006 E85 BMW Z4 on the night that I took delivery in Texas. I've always loved vehicles. I remember when the 2004 issue of Car and Driver magazine came out and it had a large uh, publication in it for the BMW Z4 at the time uh, and I read that article over and over again. And this is our second Z4. We previously owned a 2006 E85 with an automatic transmission that we sold in 2015 and regretted selling that vehicle um, pretty much ever since. So this has been a little bit of a bucket list uh, purchase ever since we sold that vehicle. Here we are taking the Z4 out the first night that we got it. Tell me, am I the one to blame? This can't be all there is to life. My friends moved on, left me behind. Wish my story was different, but I've always been so close to you. I'm always alone, and it's always the same. They probably don't even remember my name, but honestly, how could I blame them though? I never took time to get to know them. I really hope I change the chemicals in my brain. I need to go insane. Afraid to be average, scared of fame. Saying bad habits, I promise I'll change. But if it ever happens, it won't be there. One of the major catalysts for buying this vehicle at this time is a year and a half ago. Uh, my grandmother moved in with us with uh, late stage dementia, uh, which has caused us to be a little bit more homebound uh, just due to the state of the fact that she's a little bit more homebound. And I uh, started looking for more projects around the house. We missed our previous Z4, and instead of buying one in pristine condition, we decided to buy one. Uh, some issues that we were confident we could fix on our own um, and have her out in the garage with us. Today I'm replacing the coils on the BMW. I've already replaced the spark plugs. Unfortunately I had a little bit of a difficult time ordering the coils. This is actually the third set of coils that I had delivered. I first ordered the coils based on just the year, make, and model of the BMW. Uh, but those coils uh, weren't compatible with the electrical connectors. I then ordered the coils based on a VIN compatibility. Those were also non-compatible. Um, the first set of coils were BMW brand. Uh, the second set were Bosch, uh, which was what was originally installed on the BMW. Uh, the set of coils here that I'm taking off the BMW were original to the vehicle. The manufacturer uh, date was um, March of 2006, I believe. Um, and so, just based on time, I wasn't having any actual issues or misfire, uh, but I wanted to get those spark plugs and the coils updated on the BMW. I'm being careful here to make sure that they're seated well and that they're uh, not catching on anything as I uh, push them down over the spark plug uh, and fasten the electrical connector. Otherwise, it's really straightforward to replace these coils. Um, access is really easy, um, no issues at all. This is a really easy job. I'll uh, share some photos of the issues and why the original coils that were delivered were not compatible with the electrical connectors. It's a little difficult to explain, but really easy to show.
you see that this coil was a little bit more difficult to remove. If you have trouble removing the coil, you can use a small washcloth inserted through the hole on the electrical connector and tug on that instead of using just your finger to remove the coil and that can be easier. I didn't realize it, but I'm also in the process of installing a aftermarket Bluetooth uh, module. And right as I started the vehicle, uh, the phone connected over to the Bluetooth and the mic uh, inside the vehicle. Uh, so I lost the audio from the phone. But I do think we're running smoother. <laughs>